Now we will discuss the most important thing activation record. Most important thing activation record. What is mean by this activation record? Simply, what is the purpose of control stack? The control stack keeps track of the procedures whose execution is not completed. Now, the procedure name is pushed into the stack whenever we are calling the procedure and after completion, the procedure is popped out from the stack. Yes or no? Yes. Now, during the execution, during the execution, the information that is needed. So, during execution, I need some information. The information needed by the execution of the procedure is managed by using activation record. Clear the point? Now, simply activation record supplies all the information that is needed for execution now whenever a procedure is called whenever a procedure is called the activation record of the procedure is pushed into the stack whenever a procedure is called the activation record of the procedure is pushed into the stack. After completion of the procedure, it return back to the caller. Yes or no? If I am calling, whenever I call, the activation record is pushed. After completion, it return back. Once it return back in the sense, the activation record from the stack is popped. Clear the point? Whenever calling, Activation record is pushed into the stack. After completion, activation record is popped from the stack. Now, for this activation record, I will give you an example. Uh, for example, main, just to understand, some set of statements, I have some procedure. Now, A of, some set of statements, I have some procedure. Understand this one? Before calling the procedure A, first the activation record for main is created. That means my execution starts from main. Before calling A, the activation record for main is created and it is pushed into the stack. After that, the activation record for A is created and pushed into the stack. Now move to this one. Sequence. Before calling B, the activation record for both main and A are created and are available in the stack. Now, the activation record for B is created and so on. I think you observe. Now, consider one example. You already know the quicksort example. So, what is quicksort example? Main. So, first one method read array of is one method now quicksort of m comma n now coming to quicksort algorithm quicksort of m comma n here first i am performing some partition operation partition of m comma n now quicksort of m comma i minus 1 quicksort of i plus 1 comma n so, this is my procedure. Now, how do you write the activation record? First, main is pushed into the stack. That means, the activation record of main is created and it is pushed to the stack immediately. Next, read array. Read array is pushed into the stack. The activation record for read array is pushed to the stack. Now, read array is completed. Whenever the procedure is completed, the activation record is popped. That means the read array is popped out from the stack. What is the next one? Quicksort. You are calling the quicksort function. 
whenever you are calling the quick sort procedure what it calls it calls partition mean quick sort it calls partition understand okay after completion of the partition the partition is popped out from the stock the partition is completed that is it is popped out of the stack again it calls quick sort of suppose m comma i minus 1 now whenever you are calling this one again it calls this partition function once the partition is completed that is popped out you understand activation record simply whenever you are calling the procedure the activation record is pushed into the stack once that procedure is completed the activation record is popped out of the stack this is an example finally how the activation record looks like here i said the information needed for execution of a procedure now what are the informations that are available what is the structure of activation record so the activation record consists of the first one local variables local variables simply the variables that hold the local data during the operation so during the procedure execution suppose a procedure is executed during the procedure execution to hold the local data that is the data belongs to the procedure the data is stored under local variables next temporary variables temporary variables means simply the hold the data hold the temporary data that arises during evaluation of an expression suppose i given one expression to you during evaluation of an expression if you need any variables then the temporary variables are created now next two one is mission status mission status means before calling the procedure it stores the status of the mission mission status means simply it hold the status of the mission before calling the procedure before calling the procedure next to one is access link this access link is optional what it do it holds the non local data of another activation record what is this one access link <coughs> simply it refers the non local data of another activation record right that means right now i am in this activation record if i want data of any other activation record that reference is provided under this access link next one control link control link this is also optional simply control link points to that is refers to or points to the caller that is the function the procedure who calls this one for that caller that control link points for that caller the control link points return values return value means whenever i calling some procedure suppose i am procedure whenever i call someone after completion it return some value yes or no the return values are stored here return values are stored here and finally actual parameters actual parameters in the sense the original parameters that are passed from calling procedure to called procedure now this is the information that the activation record maintains now i think everyone clearly understand what is an activation record when the activation record is pushed to the stack 
when it is popped from the stack what is the advantage of this activation record clear this is activation record